You're welcome once again to Tax 101, a tax education program brought to you courtesy of the Federal Inland Revenue Service, FIRS. Team of the FIRS FIT team. By FIT, uh, we mean the Federal Engagement Enlightenment Tax Team, spelled as F E E T T. What does FIT mean to the taxpayers? What are their aims and objectives? Objectives. We will be getting into all of that in a bit, but for now, it is time for our weekly tax news. I'm Elizabeth Aluko. Uh, you can join the conversation by tweeting at us at ngtax101. Uh, we will also be uh, live at ngtax101 as well. Uh, you can send me your XMS to 80 101 We'll be right back. We're ready. Good. The Federal Inland Revenue Service, FIRS. I did that again. My nose, I don't know what's wrong with me. The Federal Inland Revenue Service, FIRS, has a special team of professionals known as FIT, who engage Nigerians in tax enlightenment across the country. Today, we will be looking into their activities in terms of their objectives, uh, the type of uh, strategies they have uh, adopted to engage Nigerians and how the process have helped Nigerians in terms of um, tax education. To give us that inside information is one of the FIT team members who we had to drag off his uh, very, very, very busy schedule. So come join us on the program today to tell us all about FIT. I have with me uh, Mr. Chine Du. Adiriji, I hope I got your name right, sir. Adiriji. Adiriji. He's an assistant director with uh, FIRS and he's also the technical assistant to the national coordinator of FIT. Good day, sir. Nice to have you. Thank you very much. How are you doing today? I'm fine. Uh, you're welcome on the program. Uh, we just want to say thank you for taking our time to join us on the program today. We really appreciate your time. Okay, so to join this conversation, uh, kindly go uh, uh, to our Twitter page at ngtax101 or you can send us uh, an SMS at um, on 08090 uh, Let's get into it very quickly. Mr. Chinedu, I would like you to tell us what exactly does the acronym FIT? What does it mean? What does it stand for? FIT is uh, the Federal Engagement and Enlightenment Tax Team. Fit. I know I said that already, but yes. I just wanted to say it. <laughs> I know. That's so you're people, correct. Yes. Okay. And um, what exactly does it mean to the taxpayer? Um, to the taxpayer, it's a body that we're going to, like the name entails, engagement and enlightenment. We're going to engage a taxpayer. We're going to enlighten them. We're going to tell them what they don't know about tax. Okay. That's more like tax education? Yes. Wow. Fantastic. So what brought about FIT? What brought about the idea? Uh, what brought about FIT is the need to enlighten and educate the general taxpayer. We found out that most people don't know much about tax in Nigeria. I thought so, we were the only ones that... <laughs> no, no, no. It, okay. it's, it, we need to create more awareness. The exactly. average person you calls him that tax, you say, what is tax? Mm -hmm. what, why am I supposed to pay tax? I mean, mm -hmm. do, do people really pay tax in Nigeria? Exactly. So that is what uh, that brought about the, to bring out fit by the present federal, by the present chairman of the federal in our revenue, revenue service. service. So he just brought that out specifically so that we to enlighten and engage people to know more about tax, to create general awareness about tax. I think that's a fantastic idea. Uh, okay, um, now that you are fit, tax enlightenment campaign. How exactly do you engage the taxpayers? How do you go about your enlightenment program? Is there any form of um, you know, announcement uh, before these engagement sessions are put together? Uh, we engage the taxpayers in various forms. Okay. One of the ways we engage them is the street-to-street -street campaign. So okay. which means we'll take a particular road, a particular street. We have our team. They'll okay. be on the bus and they'll come down. They'll take leg. By they walk by their foot and they'll enter in each building and meet a potential taxpayer or okay. a taxpayer already and ask certain questions and enlighten them on what they do not know. 
we might take a particular plaza and enter there. So we take shop by shop and okay. educate and enlighten them on taxes. That is one of the ways we do that. We also take other forms. We can partner with some MSMEs. For example, a program is coming up in a particular area, we'll write to them. Okay. And we'll go there, we'll talk to them, they'll ask a question. We can also take on professional bodies, associations that might be having a meeting or wanting on there, that we'll write to them that please we want to come and engage your members mm -hmm. on tax. That's the various we'll be using to enlighten people which I think is a very fantastic idea uh, uh, because I was going to ask you uh, if you guys have uh, a particular target audience that you engage um, during your tax exercise. Yes, we have a particular target audience. Well, all business uh, operating owners in Nigeria are our target audience. Okay. The MSMEs are also our target audience and okay. specifically, specifically the non-oil sector. You might be wondering where we're to, uh, the non-oil sector. The yeah. oil sector is time they are gradually winding off away, so it's really not our interest for now. So the non-oil mm -hmm. sector, like non-oil revenue, is yeah. what we're trying to talk to people about. So that's our particular target for now. Especially the SMEs, because I know that we have a lot of people in that group. Uh, uh, um, due to unemployment in the country, a lot of uh, uh, um, uh, young Nigerians have decided to, uh, you know, come up with one or two Business. ideas, uh, businesses, uh, and uh, I think a lot of them are doing very well. And uh, if I may ask, are you on social media? Yes, we are on social media. So you take your campaign on social media as well? Yes, we take our campaign on social media. How about Twitter handles? We are on Instagram. Okay. Because I know on Instagram, on social media, you have a lot of young Nigerians who are engaged in one form of business or the others who are not even, um, most of them are not even registered businesses, and, you know, but they are doing well. They are any income, they are, they, their business are booming because, you know, it comes with the ease of doing business for a lot of, um, you know, uh, um, busy Nigerians who, who are in their offices, you know, these people you know, package, it does set convenience to a lot of people, so a lot of people, uh, are, are, you know, buy into their business these days. Is there any way? So have you guys been engaging this particular set of people? We've been engaging. Sometimes people ask questions. They don't know mm -hmm. about, a, about a particular thing. When they ask, we respond back to them. Okay. And sometimes it goes beyond because certain information might not be able to pass on the social media. They exactly. might have to ask them to come to the office or they make a phone call offices. or the other. So we been using that uh, medium. So let me so, ask a very silly question. Do you reach out to people like in the core north or in the core east where they don't really have formal education? Of course. How do you communicate? This, this, this feat, for example, we have only six geopolitical zones in Nigeria. Fantastic. And uh, when we do in the core north, most of our colleagues that are there speak the local language. Mm -hmm. And let's say the core north, they use how to communicate with them. Wow, that's Those good. in the east, they use uh, be able to communicate with them and those in the West be to Europe. communicate with them. But at certain places you go and say, no, you do English. That's fine, by But if yeah. you want to go by the local language, you also do them. For example, Amiibo, even in Abuja, I went to a shopping mall mm -hmm. when we were doing this. The secretary chairman asked me to, to use it to talk to my so people. To people. I use it to talk to them and they understood what we said. At that point yeah. in time, we used Igbo, we used Hausa, we used Yoruba, we used the Nigerian pidgin language. Yeah, and because why I'm asking that question is a lot of people Will, will, will be more open when you can relate and come down to their level of exactly. education exactly. and uh, have a better understanding of um, what you're trying to communicate to them. So, how uh, has it been going so far? Um, How's the reception been from the taxpayers? Really, the uh, I'll say 50 50 thing because the reception has. Is it too waiting? Yeah. It, uh, some people receive it fairly, they like mm -hmm. the idea of what we're doing. They come say, wow, thank you, we didn't know this, thank you so much. You mean this is a, the, the penalties for my, me not paying tax, yes. or this is the implication of me not okay. registering and all that? I mean, the taxes. taxes. Oh, thank you Ignorant so much, me. I'm really happy you're here. <laughs> wow, God bless you, please keep up the good work. Mm -hmm. Some other ones are apprehensive when you come, they no, 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 don't tell me anything yeah, about tax, exactly. no, please stop that. You know, so you, you we, yes, we, we, we see the two ways, but again, we need to manage them very well. So either way, when you go out, there are people that already are embracing what we're doing. Some of that will always shell you out, say they don't want to hear anything about tax. 
what is the government doing? Don't tell us this, don't yeah. tell us that. You always well, you won't blame the people, uh, especially um, maybe in some areas where government are not living up to expectation because you know that tax is like a contract, it's a two-way thing. Uh, you give, I give my taxes. I expect government to provide some services and some amenities and some, uh, you know. Uh, let me, let me, let me, let me, but let me, when let that is not, the people tend me, to fight back. Let me correct that. So how See, do you manage tax, that? Tax, first of all. Tax is a compulsory payment imposed by the government. I agree. It doesn't, it doesn't say that you, government, you must do this only before I pay tax. No, I want us to understand this, that taxes are something that you pay first uh -huh. and you don't expect anything in return. Yeah, sure. So the other part is your social part of your country's responsibility to, to, to the government. So you have to do that first. And you're paying that, you're not asking government. So if I pay this, what are you giving to me? No, let's understand that. It's when we pay this tax, we now expect government to do what they needed to do. Exactly. When I, I, I quite agree with you, but you know, I, I would just speak in like um, most average Nigerians, yes. uh, like they will say. And um, of course, um, the responsibility to pay your tax is um, separate from that of accountability from uh, uh, the, the government on their own part of uh, meeting up with their, with their, with their obligations. Ah, uh, so, fit by FIS. Is it backed by the law? Or by the federal act, uh, yes, it is it's backed by the law. If you look at our FRS Establishment Act of 2007, Section 8, Subsection 1 Arrow, it says that we should carry out and sustain rigorous public awareness and enlightenment campaign on the benefit of tax compliance within and outside Nigeria. So it's what our establishment act, the law guiding us, the law backing us to exist, actually says. So that is why we are doing it. So it's actually backed by law. Fantastic. So we'll, take, uh, we'll be going on a short break. So taxpayers, you can join the conversation uh, through our social media handles. Uh, you can send us uh, your messages on Instagram or Twitter at ngtax101. You can send us such, um, SMS on now uh, zero eight zero nine zero one zero one one zero one and uh, we are also on youtube uh slash tax 101 and uh, you can send in your questions and your comments we'll go on a short break we'll be right back